let's take a look at the curvature tool. In this, I'm going to create a new document. Create new. I'm going to choose this 1080 by 1080 pixels. Uh, you can keep any orientation, a color mode RGB, raster effects, 72 PPI, and so on. Settings, I'm going to go ahead and hit create. So for working on curvature tool, this is your curvature tool next to the pen tool. The shortcut is shift and till. Here it is shift and till. Click on this or you can use a shortcut and you can make any shape of your choice. It'll initially do the curves and uh, mostly used for making curvy objects. You can make uh, sharp objects as well. Now I'm going to import an image and let's take a look how to create and redraw those images. I'm going to go ahead and give place and give a check mark on the template place. Here I have my template and to make it a little bigger. I cannot be because I have to unlock this first. Go to the layers, unlock it and scale it up holding shift and alt. So it is going to scale it up proportionally. Now I'm going to go back and give it a lock. I don't need to work on it anymore. So these are some few sketches I can redraw and exercise on using the curvature tool. So let's take a look how to make this octopus or alien-like object here. Here, activate the coverage tool from here. First, I'm going to go, let's go to the next layer. Okay, now uh, I'm going to first do the eye. Click on this corner first. Go to the next. Go to the next corner. And just like that, your eye is done. I'm going to go ahead and check off the fill and make it black. Similarly, I'm going to do the rest of the shape as well, the back side as well. It's going to go click, single click, single click here, single click here, and finally here. I'm going to make an outline of this. I'm going to switch the stroke, shift X, and there, made an outline. Okay, now we're going to go with the outside body, which is a bit of a tricky one. So let's go back to the curvature tool, start. This portion is very much uh, similar to the eye, so let's just go ahead and do that. Click here. Click. Make sure you keep these uh, points as minimal as possible. That will give me a rather smooth shape. Let's click at the point. Click, click, click. So you get the point. You can just follow along and you can create this. Click. I made a mistake, so I'm going to give undo and redo that point again here. And I'm going to do the rest of the shape now. Anyways, I can to edit this shape again, I have the options to edit this few uh, little minor changes here and give it a finished look. 
So it is uh, roughly, I got a few of the cur curves right and a few of them didn't work out. So I'm going to go ahead and use the direct selection tool. Uh, you can use the shortcut A to activate it. Here I don't have a proper curve. So I'm going to just go ahead and click on this point and then give a curve, nice curve like so. You can click on this and you, if you drag these handles, you can see it influences the curves a lot more. And just go ahead and if I click on this, it will just remove the anchor point. Okay. Now I can just click and drag this curve and control this middle curve properly. So that's looking fine. Next I can just click on here and move this curve like so. Make the adjustments. Or I can just click and drag and influence the curve. The curves are not right. Say this curve is not right. I'm going to remove this curve. Uh, remove. Click and select and remove. Okay. Now I'm going to just drag it out a bit and just bring it down. And drag it down. It will reduce the curve. This side as well. I'm going to just bring it down a bit. Bring this one down. Make sure you just click on the point and then click and drag the point particularly. Uh, if you just click and drag the curve, it will mess around with the curves. Click and drag in place properly. Next point. I'm going to re remove this point as well. Anchors minus. I can even add points if uh, these points are fewer in number. Just go back to the curvature tool and there you have plus option and there you can add or remove points. Say I want one point here. There's one point there. And I can just adjust it like so. There, adjust it properly, click and drag, and click and drag. Drag this one. Mm, I think this one is not needed, so I'm just going to go ahead and hold. Click, select, and delete anchor point. Okay. Okay. That works out well. Fine. Here I have another point. So just select an extra point. Delete, use the curvature tool, and I think that was necessary. Just gonna keep it. I'm just gonna adjust this point as for now. Adjust this point, okay. Seems fine. I think this one was extra, so I'm gonna take this one off. Yes. Use the curvature tool and make this one proper. I'm going to need this to be like that.
click on the curve here and we'll make it smoother just go ahead and undo the steps because it rather messed up the image than build up so this much looked fine to me I'll just adjust these few points and then we'll be good to go to the next exercise Okay, I have two points here. One will be removed. Okay. All right. Now it's perfect. And okay. So we're done with this shape. Next uh, we have this particularly only flat lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate courage tool. And with this one, you need to double click for the straight line. Double click for the straight line double click and I'm gonna repeat this process till I reach my let's say I just did it once and double click now and then back so I can just go back undo double click and then here just say I do a click here single click it'll give me a curve I'm gonna go back and do double click and it'll be a straight line and double click double click And there, our shape is done. Next, we are going to do this ninja. So we are going to combine these two techniques, the curvature and the straight line, and make this one out. So let's activate the curvature tool. This one is going to be a straight line. So I'm going to double click here, straight line here, and then a curve here. And then it's going to be a straight line. So I'm going to double click for the next one, which is going to be a straight line. So double click, click, double click, and single click here for the curve, and double click for the next straight line. Now this one is going to be a single click, single click. Single click and double click here for the straight line. Just one point here, single click, double click here, double click here, single click. Double click here. Double click here, single click here, single double click here, and then close the shape. Okay, close the shape. Okay, so that's done. Except one little mistake, we can rectify that later just uh, there straight line okay so these are circles fairly simple just four points at the four corners one two three four and back same one two three four and back you can use the ellipse tool, but for the practice, I'm going to keep it coverage tool for now. Single click here, single click here, double click here, single click here. Sorry, it was a double click, so I'm going to just give it double click and single click here, then another double click here and then back to double click and back to our original source so our inside goggles is done as well so you can combine these two and make shapes as per your choice as well you can even use a uh, just a rectangle and you know go to the corner and the selection tool go to the corner and do this as well but 
currently we're working on the curvature tool so prefer doing that for practice of course this would give uh, much uh, precise results but for practice work on this for now so next we have this shape start with the straight line here double click double click double click here single click here single click double click here for and double click here it's going to be single click here and sing double click here it's going to take a little bit of practice uh, to get a uh, judgment where to double click and where to single click so I'm going to double click here single click here single click this is going to be double click so double click here so with practice you can master this tool and you can also master curves as well so I'm going to do this feather so double click here double click here single click here single click here double I'm going to be double click double click Double click. This has to be double click. Okay. Double, double click here, and double click here. Okay. Let's do the eyes now. So that's fairly easy. I'm gonna just do the outer eye and the then the inside. Double click, 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 click and click circles are easy when it comes to the curvature tool try doing them with the pen tool this will be next to impossible click 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 and click same repeat click click and click this is going to be a tough one. So double click here, double click here, single click here, single click. And this is going to be double click. Double click here, and done. So this is our all shape done. So you can use this tool and make anything you want. If you want, you can color these as well and make him look attractive. All right, so let's go ahead and fill some interesting colors in these objects. So let's say I'm gonna give this one a pure white. We'll click on this and pure white. I'm gonna give none to the stroke and I'm gonna send this to back. Send to back, okay. I'm gonna give the body, um, say, purple color, with the purple, okay. And send this to back as well. I'm gonna put off the stroke. I think the color is too bright. I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little more Writer. Okay, that seems fine. Next, we have this ground or grass. I'll just give it a green flat color. Okay. Switch off the stroke. Okay, um, next we have the ninja. And this will be the specs part of that and I'm gonna make it white again send to back use shortcut control shift open bracket and I'm gonna get this one as black ninjas are black so say gray gray would be fine I'm gonna send this to back using shift control backspace 
put the stroke to none this one as well okay so our ninja den next we do our owl owls are brown in color but you can use your imagination and make it something else other than brown as well white beaks are rather yellow and the feather would be same just remove the stroke from these as well none select both of these stroke none give white color to this stroke and this brown is not very interesting i'm gonna take it a little more to this side okay this one is more interesting but the yellow doesn't go along with this one so i'm gonna just use the color guides for now the windows menu color guide here it will give me proper matching color say this one it's like this this could be my beak yeah and this could be the feather all right it looks okay so you can try some interesting colors as well let's take a look uh, switching off the template okay this looks fine this looks okay so that's our curvature tool with some color